All right, boys, it's about time. Finally, this is happening. I was so tired of Mewtwo Y. Obama is my boy there, please tell me. Inteleon? No, they didn't nerf it. Apparently, it's the next battle pass, so they are going to leave it like it is for now. Let's fucking go. Well, let's get into the balance patch then. I'm curious what's in there. All right, all right. Let's tackle the elephant in the room first. Mewtwo Y. Future Sight and Recover are getting nerfed, as well as its stats. Crit rate is gone, thank God. This thing had no reason to be critting. Big stats nerf too. 90 special attack is a lot. You gotta consider that it means less healing, less shields, and less damage. But does it still turn into a machine gun at level five, though? That remains to be seen. I would have liked if they removed the slow from the mega form basic attacks. They also nerfed recover and the amount of mega charge it gives. I was hoping they would make the old circle smaller. It's practically impossible to dodge it if you aren't already moving before it casts. It's so stupid. I think it's a step in the right direction, but it took them a long time. Could have done more about this character, but I guess this is it for now. Next up is Lapras. This thing does way too much damage and it's very tanky. And it's exactly the things they targeted with the nerfs. Less healing, less damage reduction, and less damage. Looks solid. It's a fun character, but definitely over to Let's see. Urshifu? Stats and damage on the Surging Strikes build. That's the blue bear for the homies. It's getting similar treatment as Lapras. Overall, less bulk and less damage output. This thing is way too strong at level five coming out of the jungle. Leafeon is next. They increased the ult charge needed and reduced its damage. Makes sense since it was basically a nuke every 60 seconds or less. It's true, I have had games where I ulted eight minutes and have it back up for Reggie's. They could have reduced Solar Blade's damage early so it doesn't steal all the farm during laning phase, but it's not a big deal. All right, moving on to the last nerf of the patch. Blissey, what the hell? They are nerfing the Mewtwo Wise Synergy build, helping hand and safeguard. I don't think this was necessary, as it's Mewtwo, what makes this build have such a high win rate. She's paying for Mewtwo sins. Sad day for the Blissey mains that didn't abuse her increase in attack speed with Mewtwo. They also nerfed her alt shield, which is a huge part of what makes her the best duo supporter in my opinion. Very unfortunate, but let's see what got buffed this patch. No surprise here, but Blazy Ken got buffed. It's gonna be more tanky. They also reduced its Unite Move cooldown by one second. This is important since it's gonna make the combos feel more fluid. I think this character needed just a tiny bit of help to be able to get in the fights. I'm glad it's not a huge buff. Next up is Desidui. I guess all the compilations of Chris Heroes deleting this character made them buff its defenses. And they made the ult charge faster. I know Sylvie and Mains are in tears right now. Next is Snorlax, my boy finally getting some love. I bet Zogrog is happy right now. They gave it more healing through its ult. That's nice. And they also buffed Flaylax. I'm gonna have to meme in rank for a bit next season. Okay, we're almost done. Absol is next. Absol felt pretty much blocked by the current meta. Lapras reducing his damage with shell armor, Umbrian being able to enclose it with mean look, and other characters just doing more damage. This attack buff will definitely help it. The Unite move is gonna be up more often, which is good. They also buffed Sucker Punch. I personally don't use it at all, but it's something I guess. Last but not least is Mew. Seems like a big buff. Now it gets healing based on damage after level nine on boosted attacks. They are also changing how much damage it does depending on travel distance. Interesting. And solar beams being changed. Less cooldown, but you also get less reduction when it lands. Overall solid buff. Decent balance patch, but I feel they could make them more frequent. Definitely, Joe, but at least Mewtwo Y is not going to be that big of a problem anymore. And MiMiQ is coming alongside the patch. We'll see how the meta shifts in the coming days. Before we leave, please consider subscribing and leaving a like if you enjoyed our reaction to the balance patch. Thank you for watching.